This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to do for any time I want to. Now we're looking at evil guys. I understand. I must be Bigot rape and discriminate. The crime is our weakening of the first thing is we want. Hey, let's get this party started. Mom? <laughs> This episode of Openly Hostile Opinions has been brought to you by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access provides state-of-the-art, multi-layered security with advanced privacy protection using VPN tunneling. When you use Private Internet Access, not even your ISP can tell what you're doing online. Prevent throttling and other people from eavesdropping on what you do. If you want to help out Openly Hostile Opinions and get yourself this wonderful VPN package, go to ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Again, that is ohonet.pw slash ohovpn Sign up for private internet access today. What's up everybody? How you doing? Hello Welcome people to the show. of Earth. And other Can planets. people hear us? <laughs> yeah, it is really echoey. You're right. I know. I told wow. you. Wow. Um, Turn the game down a little. We're. I'm doing... not touching anything. Yeah, I'm not touching. I'm gonna. Touch we spent it. like eight hours Saturday night, and it shit worked perfectly. I'm gonna touch it a little bit, just a little bit. And and now it doesn't. Yeah. Uh, so, people, uh, let us know if you can hear us at all, because we're really messing with different shit right now, and we have no idea if it's working uh, that well. My gal. Uh, Mandy says, hey, shit sticks. What's up? Yeah, I was going to say, my, my, my gal says, hey, shit sticks. Yeah, see, I can't hear Jay at all in the headphones. Yeah, I can't hear him now. Yeah. But it worked on the stream, right? Yeah. It's because what I'm Channel fuck? 2 or something, whatever. I don't even, I'm not even wearing headphones Channel today. 2 action news. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, what's up, Jimmy Knapp? How are you doing? We're, we're still having some technical difficulties, but we can bring you a normal show today. So It's welcome. pixelated, too. What the... What's that? Oh, well. Yeah. Well, well. Welcome to the show. We appreciate Sound is you fine. all. fine. Good. No At least echo. this shit works. Yeah. Uh, we, we can hear... We, can you hear Jay? No, I can't at all. Oh, I can't hear him, but I wonder if the stream can. Yeah. Uh, Greg is a little loud, but other than that, it's fine. Turn it down, then. Thanks, Chelm. Headphones, guys. Yeah, I had to take mine off because <laughs> the cable doesn't reach. So. <laughs> and we can't hear him when he's talking like to his Jay's mic, height. so... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> anyway, so we're trying. We're still working on some shit. We appreciate you guys dealing with us. This shit worked perfectly fine Saturday night. I know. We Greg spent came, like eight hours on this yeah, shit. Yeah, Greg came <laughs> over Saturday. He was working on this, and it was um, amazingly fine. Everything was running well. We were using XSplit, and now all of a sudden, just my computer's like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> the computer said, nope. Um, Jimmy Knapp, can I call you guys? We don't have phone lines hooked up anymore. We took them off. We don't know how. Yeah, and it definitely isn't going to work right now we can't, we can't <laughs> well, barely I mean, we, get the fucking may, audio working we may revisit that in the future um we're talking about it as a possibility down the road or whatever but we've got to get this new software running properly we got to get all the hardware set up properly and if we're ever going to do phone calls again we pretty much are going to have to have a phone call screener so people don't just like call randomly while we're in the middle of well the these guys are afraid to hang up on people i'm not so <laughs> Exactly. So, so Greg's definitely we're we're too nice. Greg's not. So I'm not afraid to hang up on people. I just I don't I don't know. I'm sort of like Will Ferrell at the end of uh, uh, Talladega Nights. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just I just don't. push the hang up button. Yeah. Simple. We we should actually. You I, could be our. What what would you what term did you use for that, Jay? Cocksucker? No, no, no. no. A call screener. Yeah, a call screener. I can't hear channel. We the... need somebody. I know it's weird, isn't it? Pull pull a headphone off off one side, and then no. you can hear me better. Uh, anyway, so let's let's move on. Um, right, it's working right now. It says Casey and Ashley the neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, we forgot to change that. that. Actually, I can switch that now. Keep talking. Yes, keep talking. Talk yeah, about you, what you fixed that. Um, are you sure you know how to fix it? Yes. Just just keep talking. You got it. Yeah, middle. Oh yep. god, we have such a shit right show. <laughs> That'll work. Fuck. Anyway, it. well, while Casey fixes that, I wanted to tell you guys we got some uh, cool new shit in our merch shop. Uh, we, we announced do? it last week. Yeah, yeah. Remember the cocaine shirt? Right. Uh, I do cocaine. <laughs> that would be 
be Greg there. It's so a, I can work more. It's a parody of the uh, Andre the Giant Obey shirt. You can check that out, openlyhostileopinions.com slash shop. Uh, also, I wanted to show you this. These sweatshirts are in stock. I got one. I love it. I think they're really cool. I like the white zipper. I don't know why. But you can buy these. They have our logo on the breast. Dude, I do like the white zipper. I know what you're talking yeah. about. I like that. I like white. And then it has our <laughs> cocaine. It has our <laughs> iTunes cover photo on the back. The openly hostile opinions rep 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 the Oho. If you guys want to check that out, we also have ball caps in stock. We have all sorts of good shit. So um, check that shit out for sure. Yes, give us money <laughs> so that we can you know make all this work right instead of half. Why are there random numbers behind us? You don't know what that is. No, no one's ever going to figure that no, out. No, what is that? It's it's a number. <laughs> right. Good Lord. I don't know what Greg's talking about. I think he's high on drugs. Actually, you know what's funny? It's right here. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what you're talking the about. The camera's backwards. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so so that's our that's our little plug today. Check out our cool shit. We actually have a lot of cool stuff in stock on our shop, uh, but I really do like that sweatshirt a lot. So <laughs> This I laptop is out. giving off a lot of heat. I know it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I was like, "Why is it so warm in here?" And I was smelling burning. This sensation. laptop is about thirty years old. Are you serious? No, it's a compact. Oh, yeah, because yeah. me and Greg, Greg were talking out front. And I was like, "I didn't even know compacts made fucking laptops." I just well, they don't they were... anymore. Yeah, that was my first computer actually. A compact, ninety-eight megahertz processor. It was. <laughs> I'm surprised it's even on right you now. Know how hard it was. Like if I unplug it from from the the socket, it'll turn off. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Remember the Packard Bell? Oh yes. my God! We, no, I used to have one. <laughs> what kind it of was, processor? It was is awesome. It? It's Cyrix processor. Uh, yeah, I've never even heard of that. They don't make them anymore. That's why you've never heard of it. Yeah, I've never heard of it. I just remember that my first compact was ninety. I think it was ninety-eight or ninety-nine megahertz processor, and it was so fucking slow and just god awful. I had Ugh. a. I had a 386 back in the day. You know. Why can we not hear Jay through the, the I headphones? Don't know. Who I the don't fuck, know. Who the fuck knows it? I have moment? no idea. I'm surprised. It looks like I'm going to have to right spend now. another fucking eight hours times two <laughs> on this shit. I think it was just XSplit. XSplit was too much. It worked fine on Saturday, though. I don't We're going right? to. We've got to figure some shit out. Okay, the we, computer we, run we need a new computer. Shit, the computer yeah. we run this shit on is a quad core. With like we need to use your gaming rig. No. <laughs> no. I paid $2,000 for my gaming computer. It is only used for gaming, and that's it. The sad part is we're probably going to need to pay another $2,000 for our fucking computer to restream this shit. So, <laughs> um, Yeah, so on that note, if you guys want to support our show and make us not do a bunch of stupid shit like we are right now, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. Ah, speaking of that, I wish I had I a made soundboard an right now. What the yeah. Speaking of that, I made an announcement Her last money. week, but you guys probably all tuned out in about three seconds because of how bad everything was. Uh, starting the 1st of April, any of you who have become patrons, you're going to see shit change a little bit. I'm changing to a monthly, uh, a monthly flat fee instead of just doing per show. It'll make my life a hell of a lot easier and it'll make uh, life for you guys a hell of a lot easier. Cause I won't forget to do it for six weeks, do it all at once. And then you'll pay extra <laughs> that you weren't counting on coming out of your bank account. So sorry for that. I'm fixing it. So anyway, let's get started here. So, you know how uh, we've got uh, a little bit of a problem with the old uh, school shootings lately? Really? Yeah. I, I wouldn't know that. A little, little bit of a thing right now? Yeah. Well, Wait, are you talking about the one where 17 people died and they want millions of people to change the way they live because of 17 people? Is that what you're talking about? No, I'm talking oh. about, you know, the other ones, too. You know, like the Maryland <laughs> one that happened. But By the way, good job, America. You know, couldn't even go a week. <laughs> Anyway, so in response to this, a Pennsylvania school district, which is not terribly far from us. In, uh, Actually, I think I know where you're going with this. Yeah. I wanted to talk about this, too. Great. Is well, it about the stones? Oh, well, way to ruin it. <laughs> uh, Blue Mountain School District in Schuylkill County, uh, their solution to the possible active shooter thing is to put buckets of creek stone. Yes. In, in in the fucking classroom. So when a shooter comes in, the whole classroom is going to be chucking stones at you. I think it would work. <laughs> like if you're a gunman okay and you walk in and you see there's about 30 people in the classroom you'd say if you walk in with a gun and there's 30 people chucking rocks at you you're not gonna hit anybody i'm serious this is i think this is actually a good idea it's the most pennsylvanian thing i've ever heard in my life yo what the fuck happens when the muslim kid gets all mad because some girl's showing her ankle <laughs> 
Shit, I know they stone shit's people. It's gonna over go there. down. <laughs> they stone people over there, there so it's like there's bad. gonna be racial tensions. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> I just I think it's a great idea. I like I if there's if I ever sell my gun and don't have one in this house, I'm gonna keep a rock, uh, bucket of rocks in there just in case anyone breaks in. I'm gonna chuck rocks at them. You have a gun here? Yeah. Fuck, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, you're not allowed to be anywhere near a gun, are you? I don't know. <laughs> He doesn't really know the rules. Yes, I have a Glock 21, 45 you're caliber. You're probably not allowed to have your face on a shirt that says cocaine either, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, probably not. But it's available now in the Openly Hostile Opinion Shop. I wish we could show it. Oh, shop. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we could have shown it, but we kind of got behind. We could probably still do that in OBS. What? I'm not touching we can, anything but we're right not now. with it. I, I'm just glad that I found out the heat was coming off this laptop and not that because I won't, thought it was at first. And I'm like, oh, God, we're over yeah, here. Who's going to catch a fire? <laughs> but uh, How yeah. comes OBS can use all three mics and fucking XSplit won't? I don't, I don't know. know. Like I'm saying, I think uh, XSplit is too much for this computer right now, and I just think it's We just got to figure some shit out. There, there's settings. There's tons of stuff online about how to optimize settings and shit. We just need to get through it. You're, you're going to have out. to like come here on like a weekend or something again and like you did and just like try to figure the shit out because it's – I don't well, know. maybe in two weeks I can help because I'm going out of town this weekend. But uh, maybe we can team up all three of us on this shit and figure it out. Where are you going? Yeah, where are you going, Jay? My in-laws. Oh god, oh, that sounds fun. Sorry, I asked. I, don't, <laughs> I actually don't mind them that much. Really? The truth. Yeah. Uh, are you saying that just because your wife's watching? No, I'm just <laughs> actually to be honest with you. I could use a vacation. I just want to get the hell out of the area. Yeah, for a while. I don't blame you. No, I'm not saying that uh, because of that. They're, they've always been very pleasant to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Just take a bucket of rocks with you. Take just in case. <laughs> the the anti mother in law rocks. Um, the, the sad thing is though is like watch this school's never going to get shot up, so we'll never know if it's like a good method or not. Well, uh, some of the quotes here are just just priceless. Oh, please, like, please the, do read. The stupor is the stupor. The stupor intendant <laughs> says protocol has been that students lie down under desks and basically become passive targets on our classrooms. We decided to empower our students with tools of self defense if needed. <laughs> Like, are they labeling the bucket tools of self-defense? <laughs> self-defense rocks. <laughs> self-defense rocks. I think it's a great idea, actually. Cause at least it's giving them a fighting chance. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I, I, I agree. Now, I mean, they're saying that if they throw everything, you know, and they're encouraged to throw everything from pencils to staplers to anything rather than wait passively for them to attack. At one time, I just had the idea of Riverstone. They're the right size for hands. You can throw them very hard, and they will create or cause pain, which can distract. This is fucking shit's priceless. <laughs> We've learned many things from these tragedies over the years. One of them is that evacuating makes students the safest, and if students can't leave the building, they'll have their stones. <laughs> we, we understand that a gun is much more deadly than a stone. It's our hope that we can somehow stop the ability of an armed intruder to enter our classrooms. Hey, man. The, hey, whatever. More power to him. Yeah, the whole story of, of David and Goliath, he took down Goliath with a stone. He put it in his little <laughs> fucking hit him and chopped his head off. Yo, if you believe all those stories, there was a guy named Samson who uh, became a pussy when they shaved his head. So let's just. <laughs> I don't know why this reminded me of it, but I have the best Jewish joke. <laughs> oh, my God. What is the difference? Goodbye, iTunes. <laughs> what See is the later. difference between Santa Claus and a Jew? The direction of the go in the chimney. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Right. Oh. So we used to uh, be able to put a podcast. On iTunes, isn't that you isn't can no that, longer find us on iTunes? Isn't that the best joke you've ever heard in your life? I saw that today on this uh, Facebook page I belong to. I almost fucking shit myself, and then I reposted uh, someone else's uh, thing, and everyone's just like, "Oh my god, goddamn!" Um, <laughs> so our podcast will now be available directly from our website and oh the my. RSS feed. No one watches us, so it doesn't <laughs> they, matter anyway. Well, yeah. people did listen you, to did us. You see and that watch picture us, of that man? Looks. No, I couldn't. I couldn't zoom in for some reason. I right. Had... Well, the lines definitely go the wrong fucking way. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah, people stopped watching us for some reason. Right. And well, it was because we, we don't do beer of the week anymore. Is that what it is? I don't know. <laughs> some. Uh, well, I think one thing Why, is for sure, some of our highest uh, watched videos over the years have been when we've had guests on, so that's definitely something we're going to have to revisit at some point yeah, or another. that's true. Um, pe you people like us, but you like seeing other people, too. What do you mean, you people? Our what you trying viewers. to say, Jay? This is just a whole racist episode all day today. <laughs> Fuck it. It's so weird that I can't hear Jay. 
Yeah, and it's really. I, I'm about to take these off because it yeah, sounds it's, terrible. I, I'm not running with it's the fuckers, bad. But yeah, we I can't take them off because it's it's my uh, coping mechanism. We don't right. really have to have the uh, soundboard and hear that shit any. So uh, the headphones are kind of pointless at the moment. I mean, as long as we're talking into the mics, everything's fine. Yeah, we couldn't hear, hear the sound from the videos e- anyway. So yeah, but like I said about the school shooting thing, uh, and and like they said in there about how you know the the. The normal uh, protocol is just, like, lay down underneath your fucking, you know, desk or whatever like that and just basically get shot at. That's stupid. At least this gives them a fighting chance to, you know, I, I think, actually, this is this should be a Patreon video. We should get, uh, what are those little pellet guns that they make? Airsoft? Yeah. Jay, Jay's going to have an airsoft gun. He's going to be an active shooter, and me and Greg are just going to throw rocks at him and see if he can hit any of us. <laughs> Do I get a say in this? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Uh, Mandy says, "Are you live on Facebook?" No, we are not. No, that yeah, um, that yeah, we were supposed no. to be, but yeah, um, we work. we have a different plan for maybe tackling that next week or the Jay has week. a different plan. I have a different plan that might work out. I don't know it's yet. Not gonna work. Probably not. Yeah, probably. Trying well, to offload some of the processing power on. Uh, yeah, that or, or that might somebody actually else. Work. Yeah, because this computer for some reason has extreme bipolar disorder. Right, it uh, works one day and not yeah. the fucking next. Well, part of our problem is we continue to have automatic updates, and we do this show on Tuesday, which if you are No, not, I turned that off. Yeah, up until now. Uh, which, if you're not aware, Tuesdays are Patch Tuesday for Why Microsoft. do we record on Tuesday? Because, uh, because Wednesday's Jay's didn't kids. work. Yeah. Oh. And you have off. Greg, in case he had off. Yeah, in why. case he has. So it's either Tuesday or Wednesday, and Jay picked Tuesdays. We used to do it in the morning. Like, Wasn't it like... We did it like ten noon. in the morning or something. We used to do it. No, that's that's not gonna work. During the yeah, school year, no. we used to do that, and then we'd move it to eight o'clock. But we figured being on prime time would be better for people to actually tune in live. Yes. No, actually, I think our viewers are higher when we were running at nine too. Are you, oh, that might be it. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even think of that. All right, you guys. The, who, the highest watch show. You guys were an hour late. Well, you guys uh, out there in in Periscope land right now who are listening to us, would you prefer us to be on at nine? Send us, send us a, and those of you who listen, uh, listen elsewhere or catching up on this stream later, you guys can always shoot us, a, shoot us a message or tweet us on, uh, on Twitter at Hostile Opinions. Uh, let us know if you want to, if you prefer us to be on at nine, we can do nine. Nine. I can't. You can't. No. Never mind. Then we're not doing nine. <laughs> Never mind. Oh man. Right. Yeah, we can't. We can't do it because Gregory has to work. Gregory has to work. Um. Yeah. I did have something I wanted to bring up, though. Okay. Um, Mark Hammer. Uh, do you remember him? He's been on the show for any. Damn it. And I don't have my sound. Yeah, I know. It would be a great thing for that. He posted this on my Facebook today, and I don't know why he did. Maybe it's because of the show, so we could cover it. But it's uh, how to make breakfast with your vagina. <laughs> That's the headline he what? sent me. Uh, but it says, but just because you can doesn't mean you should. Um, apparently, people are making breakfast with their vagina. Uh, because your vagina has certain um, enzymes and bacteria in it. Um, and these organisms collectively known as the vaginal community. Uh, they produce lactic acid, hydrogen peroxide, and other substances that keep the vagina healthy. Uh, the oh, dominant well, bacteria is called lactobacillus. <laughs> lactobacillus. Oh, you've heard of that lactobacillus. before? Lactobacillus. Lactobacillus is a very, very common bacteria. It's what makes cheese. Oh, okay, because that, that, that would make sense because the picture here a few things. shows like they have a spoonful of cheese there. Yeah, oh, that's it's, disgusting. It's, it's, the, it's the exact same bacteria <laughs> People that's eat found that? in yogurt. Yeah. Uh, so uh, appa- uh, apparently that's what they use to make the uh, the breakfast. Yeah, lactobacillus is used to make uh, you make yogurt and a lot of fermented foods. That's uh, what it looks sauerkraut. like. It looks like yogurt. Uh, uh, speaking disgusting. of which, um, if you guys want the health benefits of all that, just eat pussy. Right. Problem solved. Exactly, and we did cover that on a show one time that eating pussy actually can help cause or cure cancer. You remember that, Jay? No, oh, I I forgot why we got into the eating pussy conversation. But I don't. Yeah. I don't did you just one. fart? I did. You fucking asshole! Why would you fart in a small <laughs> room like this, man? Uh, uh, I'm terribly sorry that God I had damn it. functions. We were just talking about with. Jews getting gassed, and you're over here fucking <laughs> gassing us. I believe we were referring to cremation more than. Gas. Oh my God. <laughs> What'd you eat today? Oh, you're about to find out. <laughs> uh, actually, like nothing. McDonald's. You didn't eat yet today? No, I don't. Yeah, I didn't eat either. I don't eat until... Fuck, I forgot. To... I was supposed to do that on the way over here, and then I There's forgot. There's a mozzarella stick out there. <laughs> I don't no. eat until like 2 in the morning, usually. 
that's sucks. It's like part of my trying not to be fat anymore thing is I I do uh, keto and and um, uh, intermittent fasting. Uh-huh. So I don't eat for until like two in the morning. Mm-hmm. And then I'm supposed to keep my grazing to a four hour window, but it's just not possible. Grazing? <laughs> grazing? What are you, a cow? <laughs> my eating to a four hour window, but it's not possible because of work. So I keep it to an eight hour window. And the that's, rest of the time, I don't eat. That's like that one word you used, and I had no idea what you meant. I was like, why couldn't you just set it the easy way? Do you remember what that word was? No idea, but it was something that everybody in the world knows but you. Oh, okay. Fight over it, guys. What are we fighting over? Are we I talking about the va- the vagina breakfast? <laughs> I just why would you want to eat your own vagina breakfast? I don't get that. Like uh, because all women are lesbians is just to what degree? Yeah, that's true. All women are lesbians. But there's lesbians. just something about women and doing stuff with their vagina, like artsy. For, like there was, oh excuse me. Yeah, the lady who painted pictures with her menstrual blood. Yeah, she painted pictures with her menstrual blood. Some girl was making tampons out of her pube hairs. Um, another girl was making um pens out of her fucking period blood it's just like what the fuck is oh, going on the cheese stick she wants us to fight over the cheese stick boy did our minds go to a worse place oh well, <laughs> yeah I, I thought she was talking about fucking breakfast <laughs> the vagina breakfast uh they're actually maggie's I'd, cheese i'd steak. be happy to eat pussy for breakfast oh and i dinner. love pussy eat I pussy is the best thing in the world i do too the only the only problem with it is that bothers me is you know that little string under your tongue yeah, that ends up hurting the next day. Oh yeah. Apparently, I need to work that fucker out. Like, oh I need yeah. To get little do... dar- dumbbells and. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, do tongue ups. <laughs> do you like eating pussy, Greg? Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. Um, it's a cocaine I I on it. it. <laughs> I do c- 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 cocaine. I think I think we asked this before, but will you eat a pussy after you've already blown in it? Me? No. Yeah. No, I don't like strawberry shortcake. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, you, is your is your is your cum strawberry flavored? No. Uh, if they're under period, it's called a strawberry shortcake. I'm talking about if you've already blown your load in them. No, I probably wouldn't. Oh, I don't know. It depends how much of the load went into her. You know what I mean? Like if it's like gushing out and shit like that, and it sort of looks like a Cadbury egg. <laughs> no, I ain't doing it. But uh, if I'm like, like if you if you dab off a little bit, I, I I'll do it. Yeah, like if you if you're like railing her and you're like getting all that load up in there and like it, her body has already consumed all consumed. of the semen, then I'll do it. But if it's like I said, if it's like dripping out, like you know, it looks like a milkshake coming out of it, I ain't doing it. Nope. Yeah, that shit don't bother me in the slightest. Like, you know, it was like the old conversation we used to have when we worked in the kitchen together. Is like, well, you'd all you'd all suck your own dick, but the question is, would you swallow? <laughs> That is true. I, my 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 answer is is mine. What do I care? <laughs> uh, I don't know, but that, that's like eating your own boogers and shit. Like who? It's like f- it's like John. We can't say his last name on the show. John always said uh, said, "Of course, it's mine." Yeah, you know, it's his line. I'm using there. He's also one that called for his mom to see if he could beat off before she came to his room. So, <laughs> yeah, he liked to live dangerously. Yeah. Uh, and that's the thing. If, if I sucked my own dick, I I who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I'm too fat to get there. That <laughs> I got to keep working out. My my. I convinced uh, I convinced the girl, my girl there, that um, since she is actually healthy and fit, and I'm not, uh-huh. uh, I convinced her to come up with a workout plan for me. Um, okay. So she's going to be my personal trainer, and I have a feeling I'm going to get no mercy. So wait, what do you mean you're not healthy? I thought you're on a keto. Have you been on a keto diet for like a really long time? No, because I kept breaking it because I'm a fat piece of shit with no uh-huh. self control. Okay. However, I've been <laughs> on it as long as you know. Yeah, I, I've been on it um, consistently without breaking it in the last the last three weeks, which means I'm pretty well keto adapted. Keto adapted. Yeah, okay, it means that my body burns fat and ketones instead of carbs. Oh, what are ketones? When your when your body breaks fat down, it creates um, chains of proteins and amino acids called ketones, and uh, your body can use them fairly efficiently. The only thing that can't is your brain. So you do consume a small amount of, of carbohydrate to be able to fool your brain, but uh, or fool, fuel your brain, but the rest of your body can run efficiently off of the ketones. Oh, see, I thought keto was just like a made up word, like it was the name of the guy that made the fucking thing. No, it's this it's the state you enter called ketosis. Oh my god. It's because <laughs> your body's breaking down your adipose tissues which is the brown fat, the bad shit. Yeah. It breaks that down and then uses it as fuel. That's what science science bitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mr. White science, bitch. <laughs> Fucking love breaking bad. I miss that shit. That's such a good. I story. still got to watch it, but I you like meth. Watched it? What? 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 
<laughs> Greg's <laughs> has drugs on his mind. Of course he does. But uh, yeah, I still haven't watched Breaking Bad yet. I've, I've, I don't know. I just right now I'm watching Stranger Things, like I said last episode, and I'm just trying to get caught up on that and everything like that. Because I bought a smart TV now, and like it has Netflix and everything. It's how smart amazing. is it? I don't know. It's not blonde, right? <laughs> Can you run Cody on it? What's that? The the software I've been using forever. Can we do I, cocaine no off of it? Can we do it? I'm sure you. <laughs> That's can a big mirror, on Greg. <laughs> yeah. No, I bought it for 380 bucks. It's a 55 inch screen TV, and I bought it for 380 bucks. I got a deal on it. That is a good deal. Yeah, it is. And uh, it's just I don't know. And it's just weird though that I have to update my TV now. It's <laughs> fucking weird. Like, do why do you have to one. update your smart. fucking goddamn TV? It pisses me off. It has apps. I know. Yeah, the wife's like, damn. Like, I agree. We need to we need to find that deal. Find what deal? deal. Oh, yeah, the deal on the TV. It's at Walmart right now. I think I, they have I, one I left when I We can't left. afford it right now because we're Damn. taking a trip, you know. Oh, that's right. I forgot you guys are. But anyway, um, so I want to bring up another story today that I just think's funny. Uh, apparently, there's a, a driver on a Greyhound bus in Dallas, and they started falling asleep. So the uh, the fucking passengers mutinied. <laughs> they, what? Yeah. Uh, a bus that was heading towards Dallas, the the driver was falling asleep, and uh, like the passengers literally mutinied and took her off, oh took her off God. the bus and took over. Did they throw stones at her? No, <laughs> river stones. Uh, yeah, she said uh, we politely asked her four times to pull over. Said Jasmine McClellan, who said she was among as many as sixty people who were on board a Greyhound bus who noticed their driver falling asleep behind the wheel. It got to the point where we saw her going like this and just dozing off. I assume it was like a head nod. Yeah. The bus was leaning a little, and that's when people started to really worry. She was using techniques to try and stay awake, and I think that was the initial concern. We'd go over the white line, and everybody was like, wake up! And she had tweezers that she was poking herself with. Oh, my God. Are you awake. fucking kidding me? Yeah. It got to the point where we had to raise our voice to pull over. We have children on this bus. Yeah, they straight up said, you pull over, or we're fucking ripping she you out of the seat. She had tweezers, and she was pitching? Poking herself, yeah. What?! Did you ever do that, Greg, when you were about the OD? <laughs> no, I no. Just do Just more. Cut. Do more. Right? <laughs> I've never heard of that before. And actually, if she's had tweezers on her, this probably happens a lot. That's probably why she had them on her to keep doing it. Well, I, of course, Greyhound pu publishes a non-apology. You know. Oh, they didn't apologize for it. Well, they do. You know how you know how they, they oh, yeah. are. This corporate apologist bullshit that yeah. they always do to try to appease people. Oh, we did something terrible, but we're sorry. We're sorry. Yeah, our schedules are now running on time, and we're back on schedule. However, we we're experiencing delays at the Dallas station earlier today as we waited for drivers to become available once they completed their federally mandated rest. Uh, with research, blah 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 blah. Where is it? Yeah, like no, how, no, that's not that's not. Does it say anything apology. about like did they fire or anything? I know they sent her home to go to sleep, but I bet you she got in trouble. Oh, yeah, of course she did. But, um, I wonder if she had, like, sleep apnea. Because, like I said, if she's carrying the tweezers with her, that means that it probably does happen a lot. Well, they probably, like, Greyhound says that, like, you know, this is completely, you know, unacceptable. And we we want you to, you know, get your rest and all this sort of shit, which, of course, they're going to say. But in reality, you know damn well that they're pushing their drivers to run as hard as they fucking can. I just, oh, yeah, of course, like truck drivers and shit. Oh, yeah, it's like Greg can do attest to this. He drove truck for a while, too. They pretty much wink, wink, nod, nod about you yeah. running off book. Well, that's like they care. they're trying to, like, do a lot of stuff against it because I guess in Pennsylvania right now they're trying to make it that if you have any kind of sleep apnea, uh, you're not allowed to be a truck driver. <coughs> so um, I don't know. I just know that a lot of truck drivers, when they're trying to make it on time, they take a bunch of no does or fucking yellow jackets and all that fucking meth. crazy shit. Yeah, meth. I was gonna say it's amphetamines. Yeah, uh, there, there's no, there's no no does that uh, too many <laughs> drive, tr truckers are using. It's um, amphetamines. <laughs> yeah, uh, I just know that I have a trucker friend that he used to do no does a lot. He used to like fucking crack them up and snort them. <laughs> I knew a guy. I knew a guy who did a lot of uh, drinking and. Uh, when he got really drunk, he would just sniff a little bit of uh, amphetamines, a little speed. <laughs> Not meth, but just straight up speed. Uh -huh. And it, I guess it makes you like stone cold sober like that. But uh, When you're drinking? Yeah. Huh. Like it'll bring you right out of it. But anyway, um, he wasn't much of a drinker. So he's like, uh, th this other guy that he was partying with wasn't much of a drinker. And he, uh, you know... His friend offered him a little little sniff to get him back in. It's like, oh, you're looking a little, uh, you're looking a little drowsy. Here, take this. 
three days later, he finally realized <laughs> what was going on. <laughs> he lost like two days just like not realizing that that much time has elapsed because he was on the speed. Huh, I gotta try that sometime. We should. That should be. That's another Patreon video we should try. Oh, right. God We're sake. just gonna do a bunch of drugs. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I good. will be bowing out of that particular <clears throat> Patreon. Uh, no, video. what we'll do is we'll take a bunch of shots and then we'll snort some amphetamines to see if it sovers us up. <laughs> right. That's how, I, that sounds like science. Speaking of science, science. That bitch. sounds like a great science. Because what if you're like I don't know you. You're, you're out getting wasted and your wife calls you and she's like, I'm having the baby. And you're like, fuck, I got to sober up real quick. Just snort some amphetamines. We could be saving people's lives. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I think that's a great idea. We should do it, but we probably won't because they think it's probably a bad idea. No, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> uh, I think your, I think your uh, parole officer will disagree. He doesn't have to know. Well, what if your parole officer really does watch the show? Uh, probably going to jail. <laughs> There's no alcohol here. There's no drugs. Either no, he's hiding some behind. There's, his... there's literally eight people watching, so I doubt one. Of the, he's one that's of them. broken. I think. I, I, think, I think there's so. more than that. Uh, there nine, nine. Yeah. Well, we'll definitely once we fix the shit that I broad, broadcast back out to Facebook and uh, YouTube. I think, and we're gonna start our Twitch channel. Hopefully, we can get that up and running pretty soon too. In fact, Casey, that's your that's your homework for the week. Set up the set up the channel and set up Megan as a moderator. A moderator. Anyway, uh, so get that get that set up. That's your homework for the week, and um, I need. It's about that time in the show. My computer's going to shut off any minute now, so I need to get it over with now. Um, our sponsor this week, as has been the case for the last Greg's few weeks, sponsor. yeah, <laughs> is uh, private internet access. Uh, if you go to ohonet.pw slash oho vpn you can sign up for this package uh it's quite cheap if you buy it monthly it's 6.95 a month if you buy it in a two-year package it's 2.91 a month or if you pay pay by the year it's 3.33 a month uh it's very very affordable uh we absolutely love it i use it myself you got unlimited bandwidth there's no logging uh, they have easy to download and use apps for Windows and Linux and your Android phones, and it, it's very easy to use. And you even get a free anonymous proxy if you know what that is, and have a reason for it. But I mean, uh, everybody should use a VPN at this point. It provides security on the internet to keep uh, keep all of your traffic hidden. It protects your identity. It allows you to remain anonymous. You can stop eavesdroppers from seeing what you do. Uh, you know, you can use it to unblock websites that are blocked from your country or region due to some nonsense bullshit. And, you know, completely uncensored access. Like, if you're at school or at work and you need access to a website and your your school or work filters that website, if you're connected to a VPN, you can view whatever you need to view. Nice. Watching S porn in school. Right. So, I mean, that's absolutely... Uh, like, for example, if you're a college student using the college's uh, Wi-Fi in the dorms, it's absolutely essential that you're using a VPN. So uh, one of the best ones out there is private Internet access. And if you sign up through our link, ohonet.pw slash ohovpn, uh, we'll get a couple bucks back, and you get it at that nice discounted price, and everybody's happy, happy, happy. Happy, so, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. You remember so, that? What's that I'm part? really tired. What just happened? <laughs> That's from Ren and Stimpy. Yes, it's from Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> one of the greatest cartoons ever. I need to talk about Five Below. <laughs> I love that story. I know. How comes? Do you know I just bought a thirty dollar bag of candy from Five Below today? Uh, why, wh why, Jay? Why are my teeth rotting <laughs> out of my head? Why do Dude, I have so many dental problems? Fucking Five Below is the best goddamn store I've ever been to in my life. You know why I hate you? What? Because you can eat a thirty dollar bag of candy and still be that skinny. <laughs> I do that shit and I'll weigh six hundred and forty two pounds. No, I'm on meds right now that really increase my like my body weight has been fluctuating so much because I'm on these meds that make my body do that. And I'm just I got to be careful because that thirty bag that thirty dollar bag of candy like I really got to watch what I'm doing. But I'm not. They make they make fucking sour patch kids jelly beans. Like that is the most amazing thing. They they sort of remind me of lemon heads a little bit, but it's so good. They sell um, Pez, um, K 
Cadbury eggs. Actually, I'm going to have a Cadbury egg once we're done here because I really love Cadbury disgusting. eggs. Disgusting. Really? Why does everyone hate disgusting. them? Disgusting. No. Do you like them, Jay? Oh, my God. I love, I love Cadbury eggs. Uh, Megan doesn't like them. Um, Tony, your mom doesn't like them. What, what, you don't like them. No. What, what, do you, what do you like? What's your, what's your candy preference of choice? Who am I? Greg's nose candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what kind of candy do you like, right? Nose candy. Nose candy. <laughs> candy. <laughs> Except for you don't put it in your nose. Yeah, because you have to like some kind. Do you ever try to eat candy to get off a of heroin? No, but it, it's supposed to help. Yeah, because like that's why they shit. call them junkies. Because yeah. they used to just eat chocolate and shit like that. I'm yeah. pretty sure it's because they shoot junk in their veins. No, it's that's how. They, no, that's the real reason. Actually, I saw it on a movie and I like researched it, and it's actually why they called heroin addicts junkies. I guess when you eat chocolate, there's something in chocolate that help you with the withdrawal from heroin, right? <laughs> and, it's sugar. and fruit, yeah, fruit and all sorts of shit like that. So they call you a junkie. Um, that reminds me, a uh, head from corn. He was saying how he's getting down off of meth and shit. Uh-huh. He just spent like a bunch of days holed up in a. Uh, in a hotel room by himself, and he was uh, eating pancakes pretty much the whole time. Because sugar helps. <laughs> pancakes. That's what he did. He, like, that's how he detoxed himself. He just sat there, like slept, and ate pancakes for days. Pancakes solving heroin problems. Jesus. See, pancakes will solve everything. By the way, is Megan still here? Yeah. No, no, no. She left a long time ago. She's actually in the chat. Yeah, I see her in the chat. I no, she say, left. She had Me- to pick- Megan, she- bring us coffee. <laughs> Be our intern. Uh, I'm not she- a coffee. She That's had to pick up. up her kid and stuff like that, so no, she had to leave around like 8 o'clock when we were getting... Yeah, because I know she was here at some point, yeah, and yeah, just yeah, suddenly yeah. she wasn't. Yeah, but I went with her, um, what was it, like a week ago to Five Below because I had a gift card to use. Mm-hmm. So I'm like in the store, and I'm like, this store is fucking paradise, dude. I bought you it. Like, been there? No, I've never been there before. Um, Love that place. Candy everywhere. Pez, Cadbury eggs, fucking peas. They also sell other things. Oh yeah, well that's the thing. That's why he I didn't got make that. it past the front of the store though. Apparently, no, I didn't. <laughs> uh, that's where I got that auxiliary cord. Um, and I got an auxiliary cord that's for my still car. Too short, huh? That's still too short. Oh really? That's why I can't wear my headphones. Oh why why can't you wear your headphones? I said bye. Your rude ass didn't even say bye. I I swear to God I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. <laughs> She, she's very sneaky. Don't underestimate the sneakiness. I didn't hear her either. Oh, really? Well, we yeah. were kind of fixated on what the hell we were doing. Yeah, you guys were really busy about oh, that. Oh, yeah. Trying they to even make sell, like shit show work. Yeah. Um, they even sell shirts at Five Below and shit like that. I was oh, like, yeah. I the? bought a lot of shirts. They have drugs there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> out back. Yeah, out oh. back. Uh, the funny thing is, though, like, right before we went to Five Below, we were at uh, BAM, uh, Books a Million, and uh, Megan really likes the game Jenga. She bought it for twenty bucks. We go over to Five Below. It was there for five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you dumbass. Uh, I go to Five Below for everything. Yeah, it's amazing there. I love that fucking store, dude. It is so awesome, and I've never went. To... Megan has a picture of me because uh, I look like a homeless guy carrying the cart around. Because <laughs> they make these baskets on wheels, and you like carry them around. And it makes you look like a homeless person. It's amazing, though. Anyone ever go to a Five Below, just go to it. It's amazing. There's so much candy there. And I even went up and I just... <laughs> That's all he cares about, the fucking candy. <laughs> That's so all you the... and Casey are a lot alike, Greg. Why? Greg's you... addicted to candy, too? I like candy. Really? No, yeah. right. it was a certain type of candy. <laughs> oh, okay. or... And then I bought one of those sodas. Uh, I don't know if it's a soda or what, but it's from Japan. And they're about that big, and you press the ball through them. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. You don't. You never heard of that? No, I forget what they're called. Put Casey your balls like, in the soda. Casey likes pressing. No, there's like a ball at top, and you have to press the ball through, and it fall, drops through, it, and then you drink it. Why? I can't. I don't know because Japanese people Dude, are fucking weird. They yeah. should make. Uh, they should make Jaeger bombs to go like that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. Uh, <laughs> I don't know because we nuked them twice, and they're still getting the radiation from it. I don't know. <laughs> still mad about that? Probably. Wouldn't Fuck. you be? Nuclear bombs. You just got to get over shit sometimes. Yeah. Made in the U.S., tested in Japan. <laughs> there was a kid. There was a kid in my high school that used to wear a shirt that said that. He never got in trouble for it. Because you know why? Because back in the day, people were such fucking pussies. Oh, right? my God. They are nowadays. <laughs> I know, dude. Because I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, you know what? If he wore that shirt today, he would have probably got killed. People probably would have swarmed at him. Microaggressions. Microaggressions. <laughs> Fuck some microaggressions. Um, Micro? It's when... Micro. Man, I loved him on Dirty Jobs. <laughs> it's when someone... And that's why you see a lot of violence on uh, college campuses these days. Because what happens is, is these professors are teaching these kids that if someone disagrees with you, 
uh, about anything, it's a microaggression. And microaggressions are the same things as physical violence, so they're allowed to attack you because of it. <laughs> it's the not the fuck? dumbest shit you've ever fucking heard of in your life. Uh, you know, <laughs> I don't believe in being a jackass <laughs> to other people because they don't look, smell, or sound the same as me. However, this whole fucking PC culture bullshit needs to die again already. Why is he people, talking really slow? Pe- I always do. <laughs> <laughs> people really need to fucking learn to have a sense of humor again and laugh at themselves. I laugh at myself yeah. all the fucking time. And that's the thing. And I think I mentioned this before, but Jerry Seinfeld even said that he doesn't um, do colleges anymore because people take things so fucking seriously they can't laugh anymore. Oh my anymore. god, yeah, it's ridiculous. Like this whole PC culture has gotten completely Yeah, ridiculous. and that's all I'm seeing this PC culture do is it's ruining fun. Like it makes adults not be it, able to be adults anymore. It comes around once every like decade or so, and you get a few years of it and it dies out again. I think it's going to die out. I hope. It's got to be on the I hope it screen. dies out, but I don't think it will cuz of the internet. But who, oh, who knows? Yeah. The internet ruined everything. Oh, yeah, of course it did. But I, I just, I don't know. It ruins, like that Jewish joke I said earlier. What came out of that? No one died from it. Like, no well, one got AIDS from it. <laughs> Except for three million people in the Holocaust. Six million. <laughs> I'm sorry, six million. Yeah, you're, you're a little half short there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been half short for a long time. <laughs> good one. That was a good one. You see, yeah. I can yeah. laugh we at myself, people. <laughs> we do need the soundboard. Well, we, we tried, but there's issues. Greg's, like, lost over here without the soundboard. We're going to have to We're gonna have to put the soundboard into the line. I don't line know why here. Hitler got so famous for it, though. Stalin killed, like, 21 million of his own people, I think it was. And uh, because he did it too fast, yeah, you know why? Why? Because he was Russian. What <laughs> <laughs> is wrong with you? I knew that once I said why, I was like, shit, it's gonna be a Russian joke, <laughs> and I couldn't fucking get it out quick enough. God damn it. Yeah, but like I was saying, I don't. If you can't get it out quick enough, yeah. I'm surprised you don't have children. Oh yeah, I'm surprised too. I don't know. I don't know if I want any children. Having children scares me. I just feel like when you have children. You don't have time to do anything by yourself. Is that true? No. What? I don't I mean, have my kids right now. <laughs> Greg's like, I lost mine. Right. <laughs> the whole drug, drug thing. Yeah, the whole yeah. drug thing. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to get rid of them, you just start doing drugs. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, take them away. <laughs> yeah. But it, when, when you're, when you're, they're very young. Yeah, there's some truth to that. But as they grow up, yeah, you get time. Yeah, I just I really really enjoy time by myself. Actually, because... you know what? When they when they're younger too, there's nap time. Nap time's a magical, magical really? mommy daddy time when and you get, having, get a moment, getting freaky. <laughs> More or less, you're catching up on sleep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I like I already don't get enough sleep as it is, and I just I feel like if I have kids, it would just be god awful. Oh my god, I almost spilled my water. Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> that was not the works anyway. So yeah. Yeah, uh, burn it, burn it all to the ground. Yeah, just pour water all over everything. Yeah, might as well, whatever. Um, yeah, but uh, like I was saying, I just I don't know if I have kids because I like to do stuff on my own. I'm an extreme introvert, and I just I always like being by myself. So I don't know if I could have kids just because of that reason. Mandy but, says he lies. What do you mean he lies? Yeah, what what did I say that was a lie? He's not a woman, so obviously he doesn't lie. Oh Jesus Christ, Casey, would you stop that? <laughs> Let's cut our viewership in half. It, we already did. Look, now we're down to five. <laughs> Good job, yep, Casey. Kay, Casey started being a womanizer. Woman, no, a womanizer is somebody who likes the women. You do not. No, I thought a womanizer was someone that doesn't. No, a womanizer is somebody who fucks a bunch of people without, without yeah, he regard. he treats women like shit. <laughs> like the holes that they are. <laughs> See, Greg's smiling. And my computer's done. See, Greg's smiling. He knows. It's okay. We're about out of time anyways. It's nine o'clock. Yeah, um, well, we started 15 minutes late. Yeah, so. it's fine. We can we can end the show early. I'm really yeah, I gotta go to work. Yeah, he has oh, to yeah, go to work. Does, yeah, I gotta go to work and be pissed off that this shit didn't work again. Yeah, <laughs> well, need... we're we're you know what, guys? I mean, we don't have like a big fucking crew. We don't we don't pay anybody to do this. We have to figure it out all by ourselves in all our spare time. Ourselves. It you know it fucking worked. It did. You've seen it. Oh yeah. There's been it multi- fucking worked, and now it doesn't. Yeah, I don't get it. I well, don't get it you don't get Fuck time technology. Alone. No, not very often. Oh, I know uh, why we're probably getting echoes. The headphones aren't even hooked up to the Behringer. Yeah, that was for X split. Oh, really? Yeah. So that was by design at the time. Oh, okay. yeah. So probably when we hooked that up, this will. Yeah, all it would have sounded better. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, oh well, my well, god! I just spilled water on the keyboard. <laughs> Tip it over. Tip it upside down. That's what you do. Uh, <coughs> most keyboards are fine, honestly. Yeah. I just if you get them wet. Get that. Sorry, sorry, viewers. <laughs> 
Anyway. I well, you thank wet. you all for we tuning in. We don't need it anyway. It doesn't gonna, work. Yeah, we're going to try to figure all this shit out. We yeah. really are. I mean, you know, like I said, we don't pay a crew for this. It's just us. You know, we got an IT guy here, but, you know, he's not an audio engineer. It's just we're, we're learning as we go. So um, we're going to try to get everything set up as best as we can for you all. And uh, hopefully next week we do a little bit better. And then hopefully the week after that we do even better. <laughs> yep. iTunes don't ban us. It was just a joke. Yeah, and if uh, if you really want to see us do a hell of a lot better, help us out. Yes. Become a patron. We need a new computer. Yes, we really badly. are going to need a new computer. Even though this thing's a quad core processor with sixteen gigs of RAM, it's not enough. It's sixteen <laughs> cores. Yeah, I just it probably doesn't have enough uh, physical RAM or whatever the fuck. No, no the RAM is fine. It's, it's, it's all it's all CPU. It only has like four gigs of RAM. I think. Yeah, that wasn't the issue. Yeah. Okay. No, it has like twelve gigs of RAM. Or oh, does it? Yeah, it's yeah. got plenty. It know. doesn't matter. It's CPU. We yeah. don't have enough CPU because you bought yeah. a fucking AMD a while ago as a gaming rig. Like an idiot. <laughs> you All never right. buy AMD for a gaming rig. Yeah, I know. I'm stupid. Well, thanks again, everybody. Uh, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye. Later. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. <laughs>